Oh, I think there was a piece missing on there. It's okay. I have plenty of nano bricks. My goodness, this Sunday is looking good. Sorry, guys. I'm not going to review that yet. Some of you asked me for trains. Well, look at this one. Sorry. Not gonna review that yet either. I'll get to it, man. So what's up, you guys? Welcome back to Pick Me Up, Scotty. I'm Scotty. Who else could I be? Anyway, I'm glad you guys are enjoying the alternative brick brands like Winners. Quite interesting, right? Now we're doing that with Nano Blocks. So I still don't know the official term. Is it Diamond Blocks, Nano Blocks, Small Bricks? Like super, super tiny. So what you guys are seeing right here was actually requested by a subscriber. If I'm not mistaken. Man, there's so many of you guys commenting. I know I gotta write this stuff down. I think Warren, that was you. You were begging me to please do some Balody sets. I have never heard of these guys. I looked them up. I'm like, okay, I'll give it a shot. Balody, say that with me. Balody, is it Balody? It's a bunch of baloney. I'm like really wondering how they get these names. So I wanted to experiment for myself and see what they're like. Now there's actually more of these. I'll show you in a screenshot right now. You have your KFC. Your Starbucks, or so they say that's what they are, but it's kind of obvious because copyright, they can't really put the name, right? So here are two of them that I got. One is Macus, and one is a designer, Lef handbag shop. So again, let's do this in pairs. If you guys like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and maybe I'll get the other ones and review them for you. If you're a fan of this, what's cool is buildings, yeah, as a modular, you gotta watch and find out. So which one do we start with first? I'm hungry. So let's look at this one first, all right? McDonald's shop, we'll just say McDonald's. What else could you name it? Macca's? Oh, we could say Mickey D's, yeah? So this is Balladies, Mickey D's. 16095, 1,185 pieces for 14 years old and up. Yeah, 14 years old because, you know, if you're younger than that, you'll probably get really frustrated trying to put this together. Or you'll probably end up eating this thing because the pieces are so tiny. Here's a quick, small little rotation for you. First of all, for being nanos and being really small, all you people complaining it hurts your fingers. I'm so sorry, man. It didn't bother me. I actually had a lot of fun putting this together. And like I was enjoying this moment of putting it together and thinking, cool, man. So what's good about this? If you don't have the space, nano blocks are the only way to go. You don't have to have a lot of room. You can build an entire nano city using these kind of bricks. So will these bricks actually ever catch on and do like miniature building sets? That would actually be pretty cool. The difference here is, yes, this can open up. So technically it is a modular nano brick block building. We'll take a look at it from the front here, right? First of all, no single base plate. Again, they do this thing where they have to use multiple plates. So it kind of has a little bit of a flex there, but it's okay. It's not bad. Now on the front here, if we look along here, it's all tiled, yippee. And for being all tiled for something so small, I could kind of like it. So you got a lamppost here. You even have an outdoor seating area and a little takeout window there. That's kind of cool. And you got this glass white window with a black door there. Almost look designer-ish, whoever came up with this idea. I think this is a tree. I'm not sure, it could be a post box. Who knows? There's an awning here. That's your typical Mickey D's color, a Macus colors. Then we come to the side here and what I like about it is it actually kind of goes all the way around this frosted glass, plastic looking thing. That's kind of neat. And look, it's open in the back there. It's really small, man. You can't really complain about like trying to get your hands in there. It's nano block. We'll keep going around here. Yeah, look at that. So pretty. Second floor there has a little balcony. Now, the only thing is some parts and some pieces that you do put on are a little bit loose or they're only hanging by a single stud. And you know what that means, can fall over really easy. It's pretty sturdy, man. I like this build so far. So, okay, let's just look at the balcony while we're here. The balcony does have two benches on there and it's tiled on the balcony, look at that. It's so super small, but they actually tiled it. They have a tree there, which actually looks pretty okay. They even have a door there. Does it open? No, it doesn't but hey, it has an illusion of a door. And I really like these sharp edges and the way it's kind of like has depth in there again. And you got a little McDonald's M logo there on the front. Not bad, I was actually really surprised. I'm like, oh man, it's gonna be another one of those cheap things. You know, you look at the manual here, they don't even have a company logo on it. No name, nothing. They're just like, let's just put a picture of it. For you minimalists, there you go. Now you will never know what set it is. Even when you finish it, right there, it only has the model number. Oh, look, it splits open. That's right, let's check this modular thing out. I was like, yeah, this is so cool, man. This thing splits apart like that. Look at that. 
Yeah. There we go. First floor. Look, ladies and gentlemen, it is fully tiled on the inside. For something so small, I was pretty impressed. And if you look right here, check this out. The doors do open. Wow, doors open on the set. Now there's not much in here. You have some tables there and benches, no chairs, the benches. There are sections like this right here that can get a little bit loose, or, you know, especially on the upper floor. So you have to be careful with that. I don't remember really having any problems with the manual. There might be some parts of any nano block manuals that are a little bit tricky to read where the pieces go. So you got a back counter here. Look, you even have room in there to put some pretend nano block figures there serving you for your food. They even have a sink. That is pretty cool. Okay, now we'll go to the second floor. Now the rooftop does come off. Again, here we go. Pop this off right just like that. Yay, second floor, look at that. All tiled again. Now, no staircase going up, but man, that would have been a real pain in the butt try to put a staircase in this thing. They have tables and chairs. Yeah, the blue and white checkers, I'm not sure if I like that. It doesn't really match well. The colors kind of off a little bit. You got a little staircase and the door that goes to the balcony. We'll put this back on top here, like that. Overall, it's pretty sturdy. And finally, you got the rooftop. Nothing special, it's pretty thick. And the railing, yeah, you can see the railing here, but you can kind of see here on the other side, yeah, it's holding on by one stud. Maybe they just couldn't figure out how to like flush that part in. And then you got a bunch of little black pieces there, just like a look thing. And of course you got the McAdee's logo right there, the M. Look, that's it, we're done. Drop test on three, five, four, three, two, one. Man, here we go. One, two, three, 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 three. Here, do it one more time. Okay, five, four, three, two. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Nano block does not make this set. So go get yours if you want one. Maybe I'll put it on the store, I don't know. Let me think about it while I'm doing this video. Put that over there. Let's look at this one for the lady. Do, 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 yay. So this is Balladies LV or VL handbag store. 16099, 1,030 pieces. I actually enjoyed the build. Didn't hurt my hands at all. So again, here's the manual just to show you guys like that. Yeah, yeah. Look at all the warnings on the back. Warning, danger, danger. Don't throw it in your eye. Don't cry about it. Don't whine about it. Just enjoy it. Everyone's happy. You can save a screenshot of this if you want to see what the manual kind of looks like, but thank you so much for making this book nice and big. It's kind of easy to see. So that's a good thing. All tiled on the front, look at that. The colors are kind of suited for this kind of thing, yeah? Black and white and brown and a little bit of gold splashed throughout. Front looks pretty cool. Again, the doors do open. You close them from the inside, like that. Open and close. Look at all that gold. Well, it's supposed to be gold. You got a fire hydrant here on the front, which is, again, by a single stud. Another light post there, just like the other set. And you got these windows on all three sides. They're kind of the same. You can have a little bit of see-through transparent red there on the first floor. Again, the back is kind of open up, but we'll see that in a second. So let's move on and take a look back here in the front. On the second floor, that logo is crazy looking. Of course, copyright. Can't get too close or else they get busted. Busted. And then you got another window up here. And I kind of like how they made it black and white as well. And there's a little bit of a hole in here so you can see in the back, which is kind of nice. Again, you can't get your fingers in there, but the thing does split apart, just like the last one. How cool is that? Modular. So get your inspiration, make your own nano sets. That would be kind of fun. Let's look on the inside here. Ooh, now that's much better. It's keeping the whole black and white and gold look. You come inside, you got tiled floors, you got display cases there. What looks like handbags is really simple. That's kind of neat. You got another shelf here on the other side that has two more handbags there and some flowers. Interesting. And the employee desk there in the back. That is it. Let's look on the second floor. Rooftop does come off. All right, look at that. It's so tiny inside there. Again, this part here, a little bit flimsy. Like that, it comes right off. You have to be a little bit careful when you put that piece in. So on the second floor, it is tiled. Again, no staircase, we know why. And it's really, really small, so I'm surprised they even got a couple benches inside there at one big display with tons of little handbags there. Yeah, they look like a bunch of upside down tees. Use your imagination, man. And finally, you got the rooftop. There's nothing there, but a handbag. That's a nice little handbag. It's a duplicate on both sides, so it doesn't matter where you put it. 
Yeah, and put this all back together. Nice and neat. Yeah, short, sweet, cool, I like it. And let's do a drop test. One, two, three. 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 Yes, sturdy. It is dimension times. We're still gonna do this, even though those are nano. And this is a regular Lego base plate, 32 by 32. You can break yours out, because you never, never know when you might want to measure it like that. So two of them there, I'll pull this back a little bit. Look at that. So both of them by length are 15 studs in length. Count them yourself around there. And the width is about 10. We go like that. Yeah, cool. And let's check the height. Here's my one by four brick, so get stacking with yours. Put it here on the handbag one first. Put it right there, look at that. It's like, just fits. And that is 15 bricks in height. Now for the Maccas. It's actually almost about the same look. It's a little bit lower, it seems like, than the handbag one. But yeah, more or less the same. 15 bricks in height. Now there's one more set to review, and that's this one, which I'm gonna put at the end of this video. It's a little bonus one, but I might as well measure it here. So for you college fans, this is your dimensions. So if you look at the feet here, it's actually four by four studs there. If you really wanted to get the length of the head, it is around 13 studs and the width is around seven. That's just like a guess. If you're looking at this piece right here. Now for the height with his eyes. Put this right here like that. It's around there. That is 16 bricks in height. So yeah, stay till the end of the video. That's a little bonus review of this guy. And one more thing I gotta mention for both of these, the plates on the bottom, it kind of flexes because there's so many things going on on one side, one end might bend a little bit. And also the tiles, especially the darker ones, they're not really that smooth, they're a little bit scratched up. Yeah, I mentioned that before, man, that's what happens when you buy a third party brand. I'm holding right here an official nano block brick. If you're a fan and you wanna know if it's compatible, let's find out, right? So I'm gonna pop it here on this rooftop and look, Yay, magical. It fits. And if I take off this piece here and put it on this nano block piece here, will it fit? There you go. Sure does. Compatible. Yes. And how about the cars? Is he compatible with a nano block brick thing here? Let's put it on his feet and find out. Don't fall over or I lost his toe. There you go. Sure is compatible. Yay! All right, so I got some figures here. Let's put them down here so you can compare. We got Scotty from the last video there. That's a regular Lego size. This is one more size down from the brand called Laws, L-O-Z. And then you have another one that is even smaller. It's just micro, micro, I don't, I'm not sure. And then that's also from L-O-Z, by the way. Did I say that already? I can't remember. And finally, you got this one guy from Harry Potter. That is a nano figure, right? That an official nano figure. There you go for the scaling. Let's see how they look. Of course, Scotty is way too big. Can't fit on here. There. Oops. Here, put Scotty over here. We know the Lego figure won't fit, but at least you can see him there. Here, put this guy next to the table here. Can you guys see that? It's falling. They're all falling down, man. There's no studs to hold these guys up. And then put the Harry Potter guy. Does he fit on... No, he doesn't fit. Sorry, man, it doesn't fit on the studs at all. Those roll off. Teacher from Harry Potter wants to buy some handbags. Can you even see the figures? So there you go. That's one dysfunctional family chilling on the sets. See how they look on the inside? There's the two figures inside there. Can you even see them inside that thing? Better rotate this one around there. There's Scotty, can't fit inside there. And there's the, the, mic, the micro, I don't even know the names of these guys anymore. That guy there buying a handbag for his wife. You spend lots of money on there. So there you go, that's your figure comparison. If you wanted to see what they look like, I hope that helps you. And yeah, this is really random looking. And hey, they look pretty good together like that, yeah? What do you guys think? Is it for you? For your nano city? Will it go with your nano blocks? I don't know, but hey, that's pretty cool. All right, so you know what? Let's put this on the store and I'll put the other sets on there. Let me know if you want me to review those other ones. Please like the video so I get more motivation to review them for you guys, yeah? So they are available now on BrickMeUpScotty.com. All right, you guys. Until next time, Brick Me Out.
Now, if you're still watching this video, here's a little bonus one from LOZ Diamond Blocks, Nano Block Sets. I might as well just put it in this video review for you guys. If you're a fan of cause, they do have cause characters. Now, is it legit? Do they have the licensing to do this? Probably not. Will I get in trouble for this? I have no idea, man. I'm just trying to find alternative brick brand and that nano block might not make and I know they won't make this, but if you're a fan of cause, this does exist. Was it hard to make? Nah, not for me, man. It took me really fast to do this, but it has some loose pieces. Legs can come off easy like that and the arms can pull down easy like that. I'm actually not too much into cause. I only got this because my brother asked me to build it. If you're a fan of characters, of nanos, or law style, and you want to get more, they actually have a lot. So, you know, again, the eyeballs are a little bit loose. They can come off really easy, but you can just rotate them how you like. They're on a single stud, huh? Do I have the box for this? Actually, I do. I do have the box for this one here. There you go. So it does come with this pretty box. You know, if you really want a box, if you want to order this from us, not on the store. I don't know if I should put these on the store or not, but there you go. So don't forget, Loss has two styles of bricks. They're like diamond block, which is nano block, really small. And they have another set of series, which I have as well, which is slightly bigger, but still smaller than Lego. And they're actually pretty cool too. This is Loss diamond blocks. Cause 9219, 870 pieces. So this is just for you Cause fans. You're seeing him rotating. Some beautiful shots there of his eye, the nose. See if this is for you. And the only real issue with these kind of builds is the manuals, the layers, they are layered like on top of each other. And it's a little bit painful for some because it's got a lot of loose pieces that you have to lay down first and then build on top. The tip of that is just build backwards a little bit, like start with the upper layers and put the bricks underneath and yeah, you figure it out, man. So there you go, your bonus little review with this video, cool? And I'm not gonna drop test this because this will fall apart. And this can be a pain in the butt to pick up all, all these pieces. No way, Jose. Yeah, I'll do this though. Look. That's dirty enough for you. See, there goes the eye. I told you. My eye. There's something inside this box. Oh, that's one of the sets that fell down. So this is from another alternative nano brick block, diamond block brick brand. I already lost a piece. No, where did it go? I dropped it. McDonald's is my favorite place. They serve boogers and snakes. Ketchup tastes like paste. What a waste. 